Let's look at the following problem. A skier starts at the top of a very large frictionless snowball with very small initial speed. That's the point of the starting point, that is. The skier skis straight down the side. At what point does the skier lose contact with the surface of the snowball? So let's assume the skier loses contact at that point. Find that angle theta. This problem can be solved using the conservation of energy. So this is the starting point. Let's call that the initial point. This is the final point. So the final point is the point where the skier lose contact with the surface. So let's look at the conservation of energy. The conservation of energy states the total energy at the starting point must be the same as the total energy at the final point. When we say the total energy, we are looking at the sum of gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. So ui plus ki must be the same as uf plus kf. This is the gravitational potential energy at the final point, and this is the kinetic energy at the final point. Since we are told that the skier starts at the top with a very small initial speed, so that means the kinetic energy at the initial point can be neglected and can be taken to be zero. So let's work out these three terms. What is the gravitational potential energy at the initial point? To answer that question, we have to set the gravitational potential energy to be zero at some point or at some level. I'm going to choose that level to be represented by this horizontal dash line, like that. I'm going to take the radius of that snowball to be r. So that means u sub i is quite simply the mass of the skier times the gravitational acceleration times r because r in this case represents the vertical distance from the zero joule level. Now what about u sub f, the potential energy at that point? To answer that we need to figure out that vertical distance, namely that distance. So we have a right angle triangle like that, so this is r, this is h, that is h right there, and this angle here is theta. So the gravitational potential energy at that point is given by mgh. And h from this triangle can be determined to be r cosine theta. So that is the gravitational potential energy at the final point. Let's assume at that point where the skier loses the contact, the skier's speed at that point is v. What that means is the kinetic energy at that point, namely the final kinetic energy of that skier, is half times the mass times v squared. So let's put all these terms in this equation. So ui is mgr, uf is mgr, cosine theta and kf is half m v squared. One thing that we note is that while this person is moving on that snowball, the person is executing a circular motion. So at that final point, of course, you should anticipate a centripetal force going towards the center of that snowball like that. That centripetal force can be easily written using the following equation, mv squared over r, where r is the radius of that circular trajectory. Something must provide this centripetal force, and that centripetal force is provided by two forces. One is the component of that skier's weight, acting in that direction, 
So if the mass of the skier is m, the weight is mg, so that component is quite simply mg cosine theta because this angle here is theta. While the person is in contact with the snowball, there must be a reaction force. Let's call it Re. So the difference between mg cosine theta and that reaction force would be the centripetal force. However, at the point where the skier loses contact, there will be no reaction force. So at that point, mv squared over r is quite simply mg cosine theta. Or mv squared is quite simply r mg cosine theta. Why is this important? This is important so that we can use this equation to substitute for mv squared there. If you do that, that equation will become mgr equals mgr cosine theta plus half mgr cosine theta. That is using this equation that we have just found. You see all the terms contain mgr, so they will just get cancelled. Or you can divide left and right hand side of this equation by mgr, leaving you with the following. 1 equals cosine theta plus half cosine theta, meaning 3 over 2 cosine theta. What that means is cosine theta equals 2 over 3. Solving for theta, you get theta to be 48.2 degrees. So that is the point where the skier loses contact on the snowball. And that solves the problem.